Well, staying on that sort of frozen theme, but uh, slightly different uh, story. There was this um, other one that I saw of um, um, Jean Hilliard in 1980. She basically, oh, effectively, you know, she, uh, you know, effectively got frozen solid um, in, uh, yeah. you know, due to happenstance and uh, just what ended up happening. But the fact is, is that um, she actually, you know, basically unthawed um or basically thought out i should say after the ordeal and uh that was actually a really um sort of uh, extraordinary and almost unbelievable set of circumstances and it might just have been you know all the steps were just lucky and uh you know played out um the way they did oh very and and um look you know there's also a comical angle to the story as well so it's a very serious story but remarkably lucky and it's amazing it also shows how strong and resilient the human body is she's actually not the only person to uh have been so lucky uh, i think beck weathers who uh, got trapped in the blizzard on everest in 1996 was left for dead twice frozen mm. solid they thought he was gone and both times he came back from the dead uh so if you ever get a chance to read his story it's amazing and his recovery is amazing and he's an amazing guy mm. but it, it's it's phenomenal and, and other people have survived as well falling into cold lakes and and having drowned technically yeah uh, for up to 10 minutes but the the really cold water uh, effectively allows their body to go into hibernation and so when they're pulled out and revived they come back with totally a normal function whereas if that happened in a normal scenario, that that almost certainly have brain damage. So mm. it's a remarkable story, but it goes to show really just how tough humans are. Mm. 